What power supply should you buy for the new RTX 50 series? Now the RTX 5090 recommends a 1000 watt power supply, the 5080 an 850 watt power supply, the 70 Ti a 750 watt unit, and the 5070 a 650 watt PSU at minimum. Be aware that it also depends on your other components. If you've got a really powerful CPU, you'll want to bump this wattage up slightly. And similarly, if you're going for a factory overclocked card, you may want something with a bit more power. If you're looking for something higher, end, the ROG Strix Platinum comes in 1200, 1000 and 850 watt flavours, ticking a lot of boxes for the 50 series. But you can also grab something that looks equally fantastic with an 8 year warranty and at a slightly more affordable price point with the Prime range. Now you want to make sure that whatever power supply you get is a high efficiency rating. This unit being 80 plus gold is great, plus it's actually ATX3 compatible. That's going to mean in most cases you get the Gen 5 power cable as standard that you need to easily power up the 50 series without the need for any ugly dongles or adapters. It's always a good idea to combine the GPU's recommended PSU wattage with a quick calculation on a site like PC Part Picker to determine your system's requirements and get to the right option for you.